40 years of constant effort have kept Netafim relevant, attractive, and youthful. Always innovating, always leading and pioneering. And so the effort goes on. In 2007 too, Netafim remained hard at work, racking up impressive achievements. Over the past 40 years, Netafim has worked hard to help people around the world achieve a better way of life with quality products, solid know-how, extensive experience, and outstanding globe-spanning agronomic and technological support. As the acknowledged leader with an uncompromising commitment to excellence, Netafim is ready to enter a new era. Global warming and the transition to industrial agriculture have presented Netafim with new opportunities to move forward in water technology. With both its new and existing water solution for agriculture, for Netafim, the year of 2007 marked an important crossroad. The severe drought of recent years makes Australia a case in point. Netafim Australia's new business unit for sustainable water resource solutions focuses on maximizing water recycling in Australia and New Zealand. Water recycling initiatives carried Netafim in new directions in Slovakia, the company took part in the government's project to upgrade aging water systems. A 2007 Memorandum of Understanding calls for continued cooperation both in water system development and the supply of equipment to farmers. In recent years, growing water shortage and the increased awareness to the advantages of the drip irrigation method have led to increased demand for Netafin solution which resulted in a boost in our production. In 2007, Netafim expanded its production lines in Australia, Chile, India, South Africa, and in Mexico. Netafim Turkey and Netafim India achieved outstanding successes this year, leading the way in huge drip irrigation projects. As a result, Netafim will establish new manufacturing facilities in these countries during 2008, as well as a new plant in Argentina to meet growing demand in Latin America. Two thousand eight marks a turning point for Netafim, with major challenges and opportunities ahead. For the years two thousand and eight to two thousand and ten, we have set ambitious goals for ourselves: maintaining our market leadership to increase sales and market share, solidifying our global presence, expanding our offering to customers from products to comprehensive solutions, and maintaining our technological leadership. Bioenergy is one of Netafim's main growth engines, leveraged by forging strategic partnership with major global players. In 2007, huge sugarcane growing transactions were concluded with Brazil, based upon financing solutions custom tailored by Netafim's finance division, together with local companies. Netafim Brazil has good reason to celebrate. A new law in the Philippines requires all petroleum blends to include a minimum of 5% ethanol components. As a result, numerous oil refiners are seeking to align with ethanol processors. Netafim Philippines is exploiting this window of opportunity with a major marketing campaign for dedicated sugarcane cultivation solutions. Greenhouses is a major growth engine. To maximize profit potential, a strategic business unit was created. Three unique Netafim greenhouse projects were carried out in 2007 in Poland, Mexico and Kazakhstan. In Poland, veteran customer Malarski, which owns 45 hectares of tomato glass houses, purchased another 8 hectares for tomato and seedling growing, with another 20 hectares of greenhouses in the pipeline. In Mexico, a turnkey project for Sueno Tropical in Baja, California included two hectares of Netafim Classic greenhouses and two hectares of Netafim Nethouses for growing organic vegetables and spices. 
In Kazakhstan, which had antiquated, outdated greenhouse technology, 2007 saw the opening of the first Netafim office and the launch of a high-level technology project, including 1.1 hectares of Netafim glasshouses for tomato growing on soilless beds. Netafim is moving ahead with its crop-based solutions approach, while developing a comprehensive basket of solutions in order to provide our customers with significant added value. The Revaho Group is a recognized leader in the Netherlands, Belgium, Great Britain, Romania and Belarus. In 2007, Netafim acquired Revaho's shares from the Van Holstein family of Holland. A long-standing Netafim business partner, Revaho now becomes an integral part of the Netafim family. Welcome aboard. In recent years, the economy and market potential of Peru have enjoyed tremendous momentum. As a result, Netafim recently acquired its successful exclusive dealer there, Tiponet. After becoming a Netafim subsidiary, Tiponet held its first Orange Day, with all company employees taking part. Netafim is preparing for an IPO on the American Stock Exchange, planned for 2008. In 2007, we decided on a major organizational restructuring, separating the supply chain for its production and growth units in order to upgrade our performance in all these fields and maintain our strategic advantages worldwide. To myself, what a wonderful world. At the Mexican Ministry of Trade and Industries annual event, Netafim Mexico was honored for its outstanding achievements in agriculture, which led to growth of 170% in just three years. Despite the saturated market, Netafim Israel also set new records in 2007, surpassing the challenging goals set at the outset of the year, with impressive sales of growing houses and greenhouses, large diameter pipes for water infrastructures, and drip irrigation solutions for agriculture and landscaping. Also on the faces of people going by. This year too, representatives of all Netafim subsidiaries gathered in Israel for the annual Outstanding Employee Global Conference. At the exciting closing ceremony, they received certificates of excellence from Netafim CEO Ofer Bloch. Developing solutions to help the world deal with climate change, environmental conservations, water shortage and the need to feed itself. By turning these challenges into new opportunities through teamwork and synergy, Netafim will continue to lead the world of water solutions for agriculture.